In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your email open rates when doing cold outreach. Now, you may already know that you can't just send out generic emails. If you want people to actually open your emails, you have to personalize the first line. Now, one of the main reasons why people don't do this is because it's very time consuming. You don't want to spend all that time researching a business, maybe going through their website, finding some information about that business so that they can personalize the first line of their email. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage AI to do that all for you. So you can send thousands of personalized emails and get more clients. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set all this up. I'm also going to share with you the prompt that I use. So let's get right into it. So there's really two strategies that you can use when sending cold emails. You have scale and then you have personalization. With scale, the email that you send out is going to be really generic. And it's going to be the same exact email that you sent to hundreds or even thousands of people. And of course, this will have a lower email open rate. And that's because the people that you send the email to will pretty much know that. They're going to know that it's nothing special and that you sent that email to everyone. And then with personalization, you're going to have a higher open rate because people will think that you spent time to get to know their business and that you wrote that email specifically for them. Now, pro for sending emails by scale is that you're going to be able to send more emails by day. So you can send hundreds or even thousands of emails doing scale. And with personalization, you're going to have to send out a lot less because it's going to take you a lot of time to personalize each and every email that you send. And we're going to really want to send out personalized emails because this will drastically improve your email open rate by a minimum of 20%. But we don't just want to send a couple emails a day. We want to do both of these. So later on, I'm going to show you how to do this with AI, a way where we can personalize each and every email, but we can also use scale as well. We don't have to personally write each and every email ourselves because we can use AI. So before I show you how to set everything up, I just want to make sure that you guys know what I'm talking about. So the first line of the email that we send out, we want it to be personalized. And then the rest of the email, we can just go ahead and copy and paste the same email that we're going to send out to everyone else. And then before they open the email, they're going to see the first personalized line right here. So I'm now going to show you how to do this. All right. So the first thing that you're going to need to do this is obviously a list of leads that you can reach out to. And you just want to have those leads on a spreadsheet like this. And then once you do that, you just want to come over here to the end of your list and you just want to add a new section. And you just want to name this section personalized first line. So right here will be all of the personalized first lines for all these businesses. If you guys don't know where to get a list of leads like this, there's a ton of platforms out there that'll scrape leads for you. So here's a platform that you can use that's called D7 Lead Finder. And for the most part, the information that it gives you is pretty good. All you have to do is come down here, search your city, and then D7 Lead Finder will give you a list of leads that look like this right here. And once you have that list, you just have to upload that list as a CSV to a spreadsheet. And just like that, all that information will populate right here. So now let's go ahead and download the AI program that's going to help us write personalized first lines. So to find the program that we're looking for, you just want to search for a GPT for sheets. And the one that we're looking for is this one right here. Now you can install this program for Excel or Word or Sheets and Docs. And we're going to be doing this on Google Sheets. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right here. And then here it is. You just want to click right here and install this program. Now there are other services that you can use out there, but those are paid for. This service right here is completely free. So go ahead and install this. And then once you do that, you can go back to your sheets to check if it installed correctly. You can just click on extensions, and then add-ons, manage add-ons. And you should see that program right here that says installed. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to platform.openai.com. And I do recommend that you guys get a paid account because AI will be your best friend when it comes to any business and you want to take advantage of AI to its fullest capacity. So in here, we're just going to want to create an API key. So we can go over here, click on API keys. And then right here, you just want to create a new key. So we can go ahead, click right here and you can name this key, whatever you want. So I'll just name it sheets too, since I already have one. And then you can go ahead, create a secret key. And this is the key that you're going to need to make all this work. So you can go ahead, copy this. And before you exit out of here, just keep in mind that you won't be able to see this key ever again. So if you're going to need this key again in the future, you just want to paste it somewhere safe where you can access it again in the future. So once you have this copied, you can go back to your sheets. So now you just want to come over here to where you're going to write those first lines. So we can just click right here and then we can just go ahead, click on extensions, click on GPT for sheets, and then we can go ahead, open this. And then once that loads, we can go ahead, click right here and then click on API keys. And then right here is where you want to paste in that API key. So to do that, we can just go ahead, click on change API key and then paste our key right here and click on save. And now everything should work. Okay. So if we go back and we click right here, you can choose whichever model you want to use. But for this example, we can just use GPT 3.5 turbo. So now we can go ahead and paste in a prompt right here that will allow us to write personalized first lines on autopilot. So right over here, you can just paste in your prompt. So this is the prompt that I'm using. And if you want to say the same exact thing, I'll have it down in the description. And of course, you can edit this prompt to however you like. So this prompt says as a specialist in cold emailing, your objective is to visit the following website and write one sentence to a person at a company you never met before. And then I wrote avoid using promotional language. And then I said the sentence should comment on something from their website that you would need to visit their website in order to know what to say. And then I said, write like a real human and keep it simple. So when you guys are writing your own prompt, you just want to make sure that it's starts with a quote and then it also ends with a quote as well. And then if we click right here, you're going to see the order of everything. So you're going to have your prompt. And then if you type in comma, this is where you can add in your value. So if we just go over here, we're going to want the AI to visit these websites right here and get some information from these websites. So our value would be C2 because C2 is where that website is. Now let's say that you have your websites over here at E, your value would be E2. So if we go back over here, click on our prompt. After our prompt, we're just going to do a comma and then we're going to type in C2 because that's where the website was. And then if you want to, you can add another comma and this will change the temperature and then you can do it again 
design for the model, but we're not going to do that because we already have everything set up in the back end. So after you're done customizing your prompt and if it looks good, you can just go ahead, click enter. And just like that, that AI visited the website, got some information from that website, and it wrote a personalized line that we can use in our email. So now to write personalized emails for the rest of these, all we would have to do is click right here and drag this all the way down here until we reach the end of our list. And then just like that, all this is going to load and you can see one by one, it's going to write a personalized line for each of those businesses. And we can go ahead and save all this. Now for any reason, if the business owner doesn't have a website, let's say that you're selling websites, you can have the AI bot research other areas as well. So you can have the bot research any social media pages, or you can have the bot research their Google My Business listing, etc. You just want to make sure that you set up that value correctly. So one last thing to keep in mind, if you leave this page right here and re-enter it, the AI will generate completely new personalized first lines. So guys, no longer do you have to spend hours and hours doing all this yourself. If you just take a look right here, if you were to manually write all this out, it would take you so many hours. So this AI feature will free up some of your time so you can focus on other things in your business. Also, it's going to save you a ton of money from having to go out and hire VAs to do this for you. In a matter of seconds, every single lead that you have on this list will get a personalized line that you could use for your cold outreach. So again, I'll have the prompt that I use for this in the description. So you guys can take that prompt, edit it to your liking, play around with it, test it out, see what works best. And then once you have that down, you can use that prompt to generate you thousands of personalized lines. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. If you send emails like this, you're going to be able to get a ton of new customers while doing outreach. Also, if you guys are looking to start your own SaaS company, I do have a free course in the description that'll teach you how to set everything up. And then finally, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.